Next week, we settle into two new WWE rosters on both Raw and SmackDown, which means we've got some fresh feuds to look forward to. I'm Ian Chambers from WrestleZone, and these are your top potential post-draft matchups. All right, let's start with Raw. And spoiler alert, most of the matches I want to see include the phenomenal one. Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. Over on the blue brand, AJ proved to the world that he can be a credible, top-level WWE champ. Seth Rollins has lost a heck of a lot of steam recently, mainly due to screaming in fear of The Fiend and for coughing up red goo at Hell in a Cell. These two faced off for the first time at Money in the Bank earlier this year, and I'm ready to see it again. Put that red belt on AJ. Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles. Years and years of chemistry. It's a match we've seen several times, both outside and inside of a WWE ring. It never gets old. So, give us it again, please. Buddy Murphy versus AJ Styles. The best kept secret is out. Buddy Murphy is on Monday Night Raw, and I want to see him take on AJ too. Buddy has had quite the year, and there's no doubt these two could put on an absolute barn burner and further solidify Murphy as a top contender for the future. And Alistair Black versus Randy Orton. Now, these two have faced off at WWE house shows in the past, but it's about time we saw them immersed in a TV feud. With tattoos and mind games galore, there's a real chance to tell a great story, with Orton able to help elevate Black to the next level. And on SmackDown, Sasha Banks versus Bailey. Now, it's a match we've arguably seen too many times, and yes, right now they're best mates again, but they've both recently transitioned into new versions of themselves. Since Sasha returned, she's been carrying herself with much more of a swagger and edge, and Bailey has just recaptured the SmackDown women's title after chopping off a ponytail and slashing her inflatable tube men. I think it's inevitable that we see these two square off again down the road. Brock Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt. Now, if Bray wins the Universal title and Brock Lesnar retains the WWE Championship at Crown Jewel, does that mean SmackDown would be the home to both champions? It's, it's too confusing. So let's just imagine that come November, Brock is still champ and Bray wants to challenge him. I, for one, would love to see Lesnar react to the Fiend's weird mind games and special effects. And these two would have an interesting dynamic, to say the least. It could work, or it could be a disaster. But either way, I'd watch it. Chad Gable slash Shorty Gable slash Shorty G, whatever you want to call him, versus Ali. Two young, incredible athletes on their way up in the biz. Get them in a ring together ASAP. And finally, Brock Lesnar versus Daniel Bryan. Now, Daniel Bryan needs to be showcased as a major player again. He's one of WWE's biggest assets and should be challenging for major championships. We saw Brock and Bryan lock up back at Survivor Series 2018, and I'm ready to see DB go full on babyface and hunt the beast once again. Which matches do you want to see with these new rosters? Let me know in the comments below.